So when we think of threats to cannabis plants, we may think of mainly the microscopic and very small threats. We can't forget about the larger animal threats uh, to cannabis production. So animal threats may be of greater concern for outdoor operations, but, but mice can be a problem indoor um, grows as well as outdoor grows. Now, while we have a bunch of animals here pictured, odds are uh, starfish and jellyfish are probably not high on the threats to cannabis, but others definitely are. Uh, for example, threats from above. We want to watch out for birds. Uh, they can attack particularly newly planted uh, seedlings outdoors, and in particular crows can be very destructive in that regard. Turkeys can also be a problem if you have a recently tilled field with all this exposed soil. They like to go into that recently prepared field and dust themselves. Uh, they can walk across plastic if you're using that for weed control and do damage there. Uh, so be mindful and keep an eye out for turkeys. Larger animals such as deer and bears, well, if bears are an issue, sorry, there's not much you can really do because there are large, powerful organisms uh, that can easily tear down fences and do a whole host of damage on it to your pl the plants, but also yourself. Deer, though, uh, make things called deer fence, and they can potentially do some feeding damage, but also physical plant damage. Uh, deer fence is the best method of control, but be careful to ensure that the bottom is well secured. Uh, we typically think of deer jumping over fence, uh, but they also like to try and crawl under the fence to so make sure that the bottom is secured very well as well uh, as the top. The fence should be about 8 to 12 uh, feet tall. You can cheat, as I said, by having the fence shorter, but using poles that are the full kind of 12, uh, 10 feet or so uh, tall there. Because deer will run up to the fence and they'll look up and they kind of look for the tops of the poles and that can be one way uh, you can uh, try to cheat and use a shorter fence because fence can be expensive and try to get the same effect of preventing deer from entering your grow space. Threats from below, the gophers and woodchucks, I think Puxitani Phil here on Groundhog Day, uh, these are animals that burrow. Uh, they can be a challenge because they dig holes and tunnels that can go under fences, and they can also be very destructive in a very short period of time. Uh, I can sometimes bury fences to try to eliminate them from going over, I um, should say under and burn the tunnels, but they can be, again, very destructive in those regards. Threats that are small, so mice and voles are examples of very small animals that can cause a large uh, damage to an operation. Uh, for mice, watch for plants uh, as much as the seeds you're storing and also going to be planting. Sometimes you go through and plant a bunch of seeds and mice can come through and uh, burrow and dig up and just kind of play in the soil and cause all sorts of germination as it, 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 challenges there. Uh, cats can be a very effective method for control uh, to kind of keep mice away. Kind of having a set up maybe have a heart traps is another way, uh, but just be mindful, especially starting in the spring or in the fall when you have a heat source, they easily can find that and be very destructive. Also, keep your seeds stored in sealed containers so that mice don't go in and uh, mess those up either. Uh, threats from grazers, squirrels and chipmunks. Squirrels can be curious and cause random and frustrating damage at times. They can also be very difficult to control. Electric fence can help with squirrels. Small have a heart traps with chipmunks with peanut butter as bait is a way to help control them. They're very fast moving and again can burrow and dig and top plants uh, which is again not welcomed in any uh, growth area. Lastly rabbits. Rabbits may be numerous around plants but often do little or no damage. That's why I have a threat with a question mark here. These odds are while they may be around uh, the odds of them doing really severe damage are quite low. So again don't think you have to eliminate everything. In this case this could be an animal you could potentially tolerate due to the threat of it uh, causing damage is very low.